Hello mga math enthusiasts! Welcome back sa ating YouTube channel kung saan ang math ay mas pinadadali at mas minamahal. At andito na naman si Teacher Maria, ang inyong math buddy para tulungan kayo sa mga problema niya sa math. And for today's video, ang pag-uusapan natin or i-guide ko kayo ngayon sa learning task ng inyong mga module tungkol sa applications ng ating mga sequence. Pero bago ko simula ng video tutorial na ito, mga anak ko, siguraduhin na munang napindot nyo na dyan ang like button. O, pindutin na. At syempre, kung bago pa lang kayo sa aming YouTube channel, pindutin nyo na rin dyan ang subscribe button. At i-hit mo na rin ang notification bell para lagi kang maging updated sa mga videos na i-upload ko. Okay na? Na-like, na-subscribe at na-hit na rin ang notification bell? Kung okay na, tara na, simulan na natin. For learning task number 2, solve the following problems. To replace the trees destroyed by typhoon. Fun Ondoy, the Forestry Department of San Mateo has developed a 10-year plan. During the first year, they will plant 250 trees. So, nakapag-develop sila ng sampung taon, na pang sampung taon na plano. And then, sa unang taon, ang plano nila mag-plant uh, ng 250 trees. Each succeeding years, so sa bawat... Uh, taon, dagdag na taon, they will plant 150 more trees than they planted the year before. So, yung sa susunod na taon, dadagdagan nila ng 150 doon sa bilang na ipinilant na nung nakaraang taon. Okay? Or nung uh, taon na nagsimula sila or yung, yung taon bago yung taon na yun. Sana na, hindi na yung sinabi ni Teacher Maria. Kunyari, ngayon taon, 10 lang. So, yung succeeding uh, year ninyo, kung magdadagdagay ng 150, magiging 160 na. Ha? Ganun yung ibig kong sabihin. Now, how many trees will they plant during the fifth year? And how many trees will they have planted by the end of the tenth year? Okay? So, paano ba natin ito gagawin? Every succeeding years daw, nagdadagdag sila ng bilang ng 150. If you will see, or if you are going to look at this one, di ba, meron kang 250. Dahil sumunod na taon, nagdagdag sila ng 150, so 400 na siya. 400 plus 150, 550 na. 550 plus 150, ilan na kaya to? So, 600, 700. plus 150, that is 850, tama. And then, 850 plus 150, that would be 1,000. And then, 1,000 plus 150, 1,150. And then, 1,150 plus 150, that's 1,300. And then, 1,300 plus 150, that is 1,450. And 1,450 plus 150 is 1,600. So, ganun lang yung pag-accomplish ng table, ha? nag a lang kayo kung ilan ba talaga yung dinadagdag bawat taon. So, walang kahirap-hirap dyan. Okay, now, let's have this one yung procedure. What kind of sequence is involved in the problem? Dahil nag-a-add tayo ng pare-parehong bilang ng 3. So, meron sila. Kung ima-minus nyo to, 1-6 minus 1-4-50, that's 1-50. 1-4-50 minus 1-3, that's 1-50 again. 1-3 times 1-50, that is 1-50. So, sa lahat to, ang common difference nila ay 1-50. So, anong klase ng sequence yung merong ganong klase? Klase ng, uh, ng merong common difference, of course, that's arithmetic, di ba? This, so, this is arithmetic sequence. Okay, o, paintindi na lang ang sulat ni Teacher Maria, ha? Sequence yan, ha? Mukha lang hindi, o, oh, ayusin ko na nga. Alam niyo naman yung calligraphy ni ma'am, kakaiba o yan. Sequence. What is the appropriate formula to be used and the needed values? So, so ano ba yung formula natin for arithmetic sequence? We have a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1d. Okay, ano daw yung a sub 1 natin? So, based dito sa problem na ginawa ko, ang a sub 1 ko ay 250. So, you write here, 250 for A sub 1. Okay? And then, yung N natin, that's, dalawa kasi yung N natin, eh, depende sa problem, di ba? Kung ang tinatanong ay fifth year, 
Okay, D5. Okay. And then, yung D natin will be 150. Okay. And then, that's it. Ito naman ay kapag ang hinahanap ay, ano to, uh, series, which is yung second question natin, ha? Okay, let's have this one. Deter, uh, perform the indicated operation and simplify. So, i-perform na natin. So, write the formula. Ano ang formula natin? We have a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1d. Pero actually, dalawa yung formula natin dito. Eh. Isa dahil dalawa yung problem natin. Okay? O, mamaya na isang formula. And then, substitute the value. So, we have here, kung ang inahanap natin ay fifth term, a sub 5 is equal to a sub 1 is 250 plus 5 minus 1. And then, ang d natin ay 150. Substitute the values and uh, the answer should satisfy all the given problem. Now, back to the question. So, isolve natin. Wala naman nakalagay dito na solution man lang. Okay, sige. Dito na tayo mag-solve. Oh, dito na tayo sa baba mag-solve, ha? Para sunod-sunod. Ano nangyari? Wait. Oh, dito na tayo sa fifth year. <coughs> so, <coughs> Excuse me, mga anak. Okay, so we will have here a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 d. So, we have a sub 5 is equal to 250 plus 5 kasi uh, 5 terms tayo minus 1 and then 150. Okay, so we will have 250 plus so 5 minus 1 and that is 4 times 150. So, 4 times 150 is 600, diba? So, 250 plus 600, that is 850. So, ang ating A5, or yung 5th year natin, ilang trees ang uh, itatanim, that is 850 trees. So, if you are going to check it on the table, tama naman, o, diba? 5th year is 850. Now, for... Uh, letter B, how many trees will they have planted by the end of the 10th year? Ilan na daw yung lahat ng na itanim nila? So, kung ayaw nyo gumamit ng formula, pwede nyo namang i-add lahat yan. 250 plus 400 plus 550 plus 700, ganun, hanggang sa 1,6. Pero dahil may formula naman tayo, para mas mabilis, we use the formula, ha? So, this is arithmetic series, S sub n is equal to n over 2, and then 2 times a sub 1 plus n minus 1b. Okay, so s sub 10 is equal to 10, kasi 10 years, diba? Divided by 2, and then 2 times 250, ang ating a sub 1, plus 10 minus 1, and then ang d natin ay 150. So, 10 divided by 2 is 5. 2 times 250 is 500. Plus, 10 times, at uh, 10 minus 1 is 9. 9 times yung di mo na 150, that is 1,350. Ulit, uh, 10 minus 1 is 9. 9 times 150 is 1,350. Okay, so pag in mo yan, that is 5 times 1,850. Pag minultiply mo yan, that is 9,250. So, the sum is 9,250. So, they they will have planted 9,250 trees. Kung gusto nyong i-check, i-check nyo by adding yun nandun sa ating table. Ha, ito. Uh, pag in mo lahat ito, ulitin ko ha, yung 250, 400, 550, 700, 850, 1000, 1150, 131450, 1,6. Pag in mo lahat yan, yun din yung magiging sum nila ha. Kaya lang mas mahaba kasi yun. Kaya nag-formula na lang tayo. Okay, now for number 2. Ah, teka ha, enter ko lang to. So, every December, Masipag National High School is sponsoring a gift-giving program for an orphanage. A newspaper fund drive to collect fund was a launch. A student promised, okay, that he will bring four newspaper or they will bring four newspapers on the launching drive 
Ay, on the launching day of the drive. On the second day naman, 12, and triple the number of newspapers each day. So, bawat araw, nati-triple yung uh, newspaper nila. Now, kung ito ay mula December 1 to December 5, ang question natin is how many newspaper will the student bring on the last day? O, sige ha, para mas madali, if we are going to make a table, o, ayan ha, Lima. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay? So, this one, ano, sa unang araw, apat. Okay? And then, sa pangalawang araw, ilan din nila niya? 12 na. And then, on the third day, dahil nga tinitriple, so, 12 times 3, you have 36. And then, titriplihin ulit yung 36. 36 times 3, that's 108. And then, 108 times 3, that's 324. Okay? Ngayon, kung ayaw nyo gumawa ng table at yung formula yung gusto nyo maging basis, ganito lang din yan. Okay? Dahil tayo, common ratio to ha. If you are going to divide 324 divided by 108, that's 3. 100, sorry, 108 divided by 36, that's also 3. 36 divided by 12, that's 3. 12 divided by 4, that's 3. So, meron tayong ratio, common ratio. So, if we are going to solve this one using the formula, you will have a sub n, a sub 1 times r n minus 1. Dahil ang hinahanap natin yung last day, which is the fifth day, kasi December 1 to 5, so we have a sub 5 is equal to 4 times, ano ang common ratio natin? 3, tama, and then 5 minus 1. So, we have here 4 times 3. What is 5 times 1? 4. Okay. What is 3 times 3 times 3 times 3? 3 times 3 is 9 times 3 is 27 times 3. That's 81. Okay. So, 4 times 81. So, 81 times 4. This is 4. This is 32 kasi 8 times 4 is 32. O, diba? The same naman sila, 324. So, we have A sub 5, which is 324. So, how many newspaper? 324. Pareho sila, diba? So, kung naggawa ka ng table or kung mag-solve ka, pareho lang dapat ang lalabas. 324 newspaper. Okay, next. Aha, uh -huh. what is the total number of newspaper that he will contribute? Okay, so yung total, pwede mong i-add siya as 4 plus 12 plus 36 plus 108 plus 324. Pero may formula tayo dyan, ha? For geometric series. So, S sub N is equal to A and then Y minus R, Y tuloy, 1 minus R raised to N. Okay, over 1 minus R. Yung A natin is just simply our A sub 1. Okay, so S uh, sub 5, kasi 5 lang naman na araw yon. And then A sub 1 natin is, ano yung una natin? 4. So 4, and then 1 minus 3 raised to, ilan siya? 5. Kasi yung N natin ay 5. Okay, over 1 minus 3. So, you will have 4 and then 1 minus what is 3 raised to 5. Kung ang 3 raised to 4 ay 81. Ito, pag tinames ko pa siya by 3 para maging 5. 3, 243. Okay. Over 1 minus 3, that's negative 2. Okay. 243. So, 1 minus 243 is 242. Divided by negative 2. So, this is also negative ha? Kasi mas mataas to. So, 242 times 4. Sorry. This is 8. This is 16. 8, 9. 968. So, negative 968. Divided by negative 2. That is 468. Po positive 484. So, ibig sabihin, ang... Total na madadala niya ay 400, lagay ko dito, 484 newspaper. Okay, if you want to check, i-add nyo itong uh, nandito, 4 plus 12 plus 36 plus 108 plus 324, 484, ayan. Okay, now for learning task number 3. Okay, mga anak ko, so doon sa question part, 
kayo na yung bahala. Ha, kayang kaya nyo lang sagutan yan. Dito na lang ako sa solution part. So, the logs are piled such that each row is two less than the one below. Okay, so kung mapapansin ninyo, kung ito ay, ah, uh, teka, kung ito ang nasa bottom ay 10, okay, yung susunod sa kanya, kung uh, lamang ng dalawa yung, or, Ah, uh, mas konti siya ng dalawa, susunod dyan ay 8, diba? So, ito magiging 8. Ang susunod dyan, 6. Ang susunod, 4. Ang susunod ay 2. Kaya may problema ako dun sa problem niyo dyan kasi ang nakalagay 1 ang topmost. Dapat 2 ang topmost, okay? So, kailangan natin muna malaman yung N. So, paano natin isusolve yun? So, alam natin ang A sub N natin ay 40. Siya yung pinakalas kasi. Ang A sub 1 natin ay 2. And ang difference natin ay, common difference ay 2. Kasi 2 less than eh. Okay, so ang formula natin ay A sub N is equal to A sub 1 plus N minus 1 D. So, A sub 1 is 2 plus ang N natin ay missing minus 1. And then, ang D natin ay 2. Sorry, ang A sub N natin ay 40. So, we have 40 is equal to 2 plus, distribute ito, 2N minus 2. Okay, so what is 2 minus 2? 0 na lang siya. So, we have here 40 and then 2N. And then, divide it. Divide by 2. Okay, so ibig sabihin ng n natin ay 20. Okay, dahil ang n natin ay 20, pwede na natin siyang ma-solve. So we have S sub n, yung formula natin ha. A, uh, S sub n, meron isa tayong formula para sa ating uh, series naman. So S sub n is equal to n over 2, yung ginamit natin kanina. 2A sub 1 plus n minus 1d. Okay, so we have 20 divided by 2 times 2. And then, ang A sub 1 natin is ilan? 2, tama. 2 plus, ang N natin, ito, kaya natin sinol. That's 20 minus 1, tas ang D natin ay 2. Okay, so 20 divided by 2 is 10, and then 2 times 2 is 4, plus 20 mi minus 1 is 19, okay, times 2. So, you have 10 and then 4 plus 19 times 2, that's 38. Okay, and then 4 times 38 is, ah uh, no, 4 plus 38 is 8, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. 42 times 10, so 42 times 10, that's, wala na ako space, 420. Okay, so there are 420 logs. Okay. Ayan na yun, 420 logs. Ngayon, kung nagustuhan nyo ang video na ito at natulungan ko kayo kung paano nyo ba sasagutan yung mga learning test ninyo, pwede, uh, mga anak ko, pwede bang i-comment yan sa ating comment section. Tulungan nyo akong maapit ang video na ito at makita din siya ng iba. And please, share to your classmates ha para hindi na sila mahirapan pang maghanap. At laging tandaan, let's spread the love of math. Thank you and bye!